we want to simplify the following expressions. Notice each expression involves a fraction or a quotient, so we'll simplify the numerators and denominators separately, then simplify the fraction or quotient. Looking at the first expression, in the numerator we have x squared raised to the ninth power times x. So here because we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So this is equal to x raised to the power of two times nine. We still have times x, so if we want x to the first, all over x to the third. Two times nine is equal to eighteen, so we have x to the eighteenth times x, or x to the first, all over x to the third. And now in the numerator we multiply. When multiplying in the bases of the same, we add the exponents. So this is going to be equal to x raised to the power of eighteen plus one, all over x to the third is equal to x to the nineteenth, all over x to the third. And finally, we're dividing in the bases of the same, and therefore we subtract the exponents. So x to the nineteenth divided by x to the third is equal to x raised to the power of nineteen minus three, which equals x raised to the power of sixteen. Looking at our second expression, in the numerator we have x to the second raised to the sixth, so because we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So we'd have x raised to the power of two times six. In the denominator, we have x to the fifth raised to the sixth power, which would be x raised to the power of five times six. So we have x raised to the power of two times six is 12, divided by x raised to the power of five times six, that's 30. And now because we're dividing, and the base is the same, we subtract the exponents, and remember it's always the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. So we have x raised to the power of 12 minus 30, or 12 plus negative 30 is equal to negative 18. We need to simplify the expression using positive exponents. Remember a raised to the power of negative m equals one over a raised to the power of positive m, and therefore this is equal to one over x raised to the power of positive eighteen. Finally, for the last expression, in the numerator we have x to the fourth raised to the fifth. Again, because we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. This is x raised to the power of four times five. In the denominator we have x to the second raised to the power of negative eight, which is equal to x raised to the power of two times negative eight. So we have x to the twentieth divided by x raised to the power of negative sixteen. And because we're dividing in the bases of the same, we subtract the exponents. So we have x raised to the power of twenty minus negative sixteen. Well, minus negative sixteen is the same as plus sixteen. So this is equal to x raised to the power of twenty plus sixteen, which equals x raised to the power of thirty-six. I hope you found this helpful.